So I'm asked to plot the following graphs in one set of axes. Okay, so I already drew my set of axes and I have to plot both graphs in this set. And the first one, y equals 3x minus 4, and the second one, y equals minus 2x plus 1. And these are linear equations, and if I draw them, I'm going to get a line. And I know what do I have to do to draw that line. Well, I need a few points. And actually, to draw a line, uh, what I explained in my previous video, you need two points. But we always find a third point to check our work, yeah, to make sure you didn't make any of those silly mistakes. So let's get started. The first one. I'm making a fishbone table, yeah, and I call it a fishbone table because it looks like a dead fish, okay? And I'm going to organize the coordinates I choose to plot in that table. And I can choose anything for x and I find the corresponding y coordinate. For instance, I can take for x is 1. How much is y when x is 1? Well, y is going to be 3 times 1, yeah, 3 times x, 3 times 1 minus 4. And 3 times 1, that's 3, minus 4, minus 1. That's one coordinate. All right. Choose something else for x. Let's take small numbers there. 2. Then y equals 3 times 2, minus 4. And 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4. And that is 2. Now I could draw my line, but I'll just do a third one to check my work and I'll take for x is 3, then y equals 3 times x, 3 times 3 minus 4, and that is 9 minus 4 will equal 5. Okay, I've got three points, so I'm off now to my graph. There we go. I'll just put it here uh, for you to see those coordinates as well, yeah, because I've got three coordinates. Uh, coordinate 1, minus 1, that's this one. I've got coordinate 2, 2, and 3, 5. Okay, now before I graph those lines, yeah, I have to finish um, my axis. I've got to give it a skill. Let's do one block is 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't have to continue everywhere. Eh? Uh, but if you say one block is one, then everywhere on that axis one block is one. Uh, one block is one, and vertically I'll do the same. One block is one, one, two, three, uh, negative that way. Okay, I'm going to plot my points. One minus one, so that's one minus one. That's going to be here. Just a small dot. I'm doing this with a marker. You're going to do this with a sharp pencil. Eh? Two, two. That was my second point. Two. 2, that's over there. And the third point, just to check myself, because I already see the line here, just to check myself, 3, 5, 3, 3, 4, 5, over here. Now, if there are all three of them on one line, then I know I didn't make a silly mistake, and they are on one line, that's fantastic. Now, you're gonna take some, some care in drawing this line, you wanna do it very accurately, and you draw a nice, confident long line like this with a sharp pencil okay and I'll label it by writing the equation y equals 3x minus 4 next to it yeah? so everybody knows that that is that line okay let's continue now with the other question y equals minus 2x plus 1 we know now that we'll find three points yeah, it's getting a little bit messy, I apologize. Yeah, new question. Uh, we only need two points here to draw a line. We're going to find a third one to check ourselves. And let's take for x is 0. That's always a nice one. y equals minus 2 times 0 plus 1. Minus 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay, let's take for x is 1. You can choose any number for x, eh? but let's choose the smaller ones. Because if I take for x is 223, it's going to be difficult to fit that on my graph. So I choose smaller numbers for x and find the corresponding y coordinate. x is 1, then y is minus 2 times 1 plus 1. Yeah, so minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 plus 1. That is minus 1. Let's take for x is 2. Yeah, this is our checker. y equals minus 2 
times x or minus 2 times 2 plus 1, that is minus 4 plus 1, that is minus 3. So I've got my coordinates. It's 0, 1, 1, minus 1, and 2, minus 3. And I'm going to take my axis again there. There we go. Oops, okay. I hope you can see that properly. I'll do it in green. You do it still with a sharp pencil. Yeah, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's over here. Okay, it's 0 to the left and the right. So there, and 1 up. Yeah, don't mix it up all of a sudden. Yeah? It's x first, then y. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, that is here. And the third coordinate there to check my work, 2 minus 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 down, 2 minus 3. And again, I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to check, are they all on the same line? Yes, they are. Yeah, because if they're not, and let's say the third point is somewhere else, then I just got to check my workings here. Yeah, did I make a silly mistake? Yeah. And if that is all correct, and I'm absolutely sure about that, so really calculate it again. But if it's all correct, then perhaps I plotted it wrongly. Yeah, perhaps I did uh, 1, 0 instead of 0, 1. Anyway, in this case, there are all three of them on the same line. So I take some care and draw a confident line like that. And I'll label it by writing down the equation next to it minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so I've graphed my linear equations in one set of axes. One line is going up 3x minus 4, one line is going down minus 2x plus 1. Now it's your turn. All the best.